Hey you guys, welcome to this practice. I'm so happy that you've decided to join me in this class today. You won't necessarily need anything more than yourself, your practice space, any other props that you like to have for your yoga practice, a couple of blocks might come in handy. And then when you're ready, find a seat, any seat. Close your eyes. Grab a few breaths. Grab a few moments. Take in a few seconds before we begin to move and flow to disassociate yourself from whatever you were doing before. So just allow yourself to tune in to how you feel in this moment, how your mind feels, how your body feels. Allow whatever breath you find in this moment be enough for you. And allow however you feel right now be okay. As you start to feel a little bit more calm, a little bit more centered, take a deep breath in all the way to the top. Exhale, let it go. One more like that, fill the lung. Exhale, everything out. And then when you're ready, blink the eyes open, I'll meet you on hands and knees. So bring your palms down under the shoulders, let your knees come underneath the hips and then start to circle your shoulders over top of your wrists a few times, anti-clockwise, clockwise, whatever feels good to you. I always like to take a few moments before I do anything else just to get my hands used to being on the floor because how often do we place our hands on the ground and then add our body weight to them so this is always the first thing that I do in my yoga practice and then when you're ready just allow your body to move and groove in any intuitive way that feels good just circling your body over the four points of contact you have with the ground. Taking the opportunity to check in with your body, how it feels. Find a little bit of breath here. And then maybe you flip the fingertips to the outside edges of mat or all the way back around towards the knees if it's within your practice. Find your weight transfer from left to right or Maybe you find this palm peeling action. I like to tuck my toes under at the same time and get a little bit of a stretch into the bottoms of my feet. Wherever you are, just a few breaths. Tuning in, preparing the body. Nice, and then when you feel ready, let the palms come back to their usual orientation underneath the shoulders, press into them. And then when you're ready, take your right leg down your mat, core engaged, and then float the right leg, feel your right glute turn on. And then rise up onto left fingertips, stay, or reach the left arm long. Press firm out of your right hand and reach the left fingertips forward as you reach the right toes into the space you can't see. Hold. Breathe. See if you can get your left bicep out of your vision. And then when you're ready, left hand returns, kickstand left shin behind you, right foot finds the home at the back of the mat, peel your right arm up towards the sky. Modified side plank or gate pose, whatever you want to call it. I like to reach my right arm up and overhead as I press into the outer edge of my right foot, allowing myself to feel some sensation into my right side body. Take one more deep breath in. On your exhale, pull your right knee in towards your body, look where you want it to land. Pivot on your left shin, right foot to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky as you push your hips forward and down. And then exhale, half splits your variation. Maybe this is where you might add the blocks, but when you're ready, pull your hips back, pull your front leg straight-ish and reach your heart forward. Breathe. 
One more deep inhale. Exhale, bend right knee, plant the palms, high plank. Knees could be down, but wherever you are, push the ground away with the palms. Feel the forearms energizing towards each other. Feel your biceps rolling forward. Feel your quads, your glutes engaged. Feel your low belly pick up. Hold for five, four, three, two. Softly lower knees to earth on one. Tabletop position. Take a second just to reset your palms, your knees. And then when you're ready, core engaged. Left leg reaches long down the mat, and then pick the left leg up. Left glute turns on. And then maybe rise up onto right fingertips, stay here, or reach your right arm forward. Ooh, feel this balancing position. And remember to push firm out of your left hand for your left bicep roll forward. See if you can get your right bicep out of your peripheral vision. Hold. Breathe, embrace the wobble. <laughs> Take one more full breath in. As you breathe out, right hand to the earth, kick stand right shin, left foot finds a home back of mat, modified side plank, left arm to the sky. Maybe left arm reaches long overhead, breathing into the left side body, pushing down into the right thumb. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left knee squeezes into the body, left foot, to top of mat, low lunge, inhale, you rise. Exhale, maybe you sink into your hips. Take one more deep breath in. And with an exhale, we'll find our half splits. Hands to the floor or blocks. Pull your left leg straight-ish. Sometimes it's nice to kind of like bubble in and out a few times. And then when you're ready, left leg pulls back and you fold. You hinge forward, heart reaches long, left hip pulls back behind you. Nice. One more big inhale. Exhale, bend left knee, plant the palms, high plank. We step back. Again, take a moment in your high plank. No, it's absolutely fine for you to be here with your knees down. But even if your knees are down, see if you can find that doming into your upper back body. Push the ground away. Find this strong, long line of energy. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, push your hips up and back. Downward facing dog as you get there. If it feels nice, move into your dog. I always cue movement in my downward facing dog because I've got one of those bodies where I crave moving around. But if you prefer stillness, stillness is always welcome. Remember, it's your practice. I want you to always be your own best teacher and to listen inward at all times and only do what feels good on your body. So maybe you pedal out a few times, maybe you don't. Let the practice be completely unique to you. As you finish there, you mosey into stillness. Maybe a nice bend in towards the knees might feel nice as you push firm into the palms. Downward facing dog, deep breath in. Big breath out. And then inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, think high plank. As you mosey there, remember the knees can always come down to the ground. And then on your exhale, we cruise all the way back into dog. The inhale carries you out and forward, finding high plank. Exhale, cruise it back to dock. On an inhale, glide your body forward, high plank pose. Nice. Exhale, back to dock. Last one, inhale as you pull yourself all the way out and forward. This time we're going to pause in high plank pose. Take the inhale. On your exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Untap the toes, fingertips set up wide, nine and three or 10 and two. Oscillating cobra pose, push into tops of feet, heavy hips, and then let the inhale lift the chest. Exhale to lower. 
Inhale, create space. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale as we lift. Exhale, lower halfway down and pause. Float the feet. Option to float the palms. Maybe reach the arms back behind you. Shalabhasana, locust pose. Squeeze shoulder blades together, reach toes back, hold for five, four, three, two, on one, palms, frame your chest, tops of feet land, roll your shoulder heads back as you feel your shoulders on back body, and then inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose, kick down into the tops of the feet, and then on your exhale, cruise back into downward facing dog. Nice. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and a big exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, glide out into your high plank pose with control, softly lower knees to the ground. Find your tabletop position. Reach your right leg back behind you, float it. Rise up onto the left fingers or reach the left arm forward. Stay here or add on with me, take an inhale. Exhale, crunch left elbow to right knee, see if you can make the connection. And then inhale, open again. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale to open. Exhale, crunch this time we hold, they connect. Push left elbow in towards right knee, hold for three, two, on one, open, get long, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, left hand returns, modified side plank as you wheel open, right arm to sky, right foot back of mat, maybe right bicep chases right ear as you push into the outer edge of your right foot. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, right knee squeezes in towards the chest. Look where you want it to land, pivot on your left knee with control, low lunge, right foot lands, inhale. Arms reach up towards the sky. And with an exhale, we'll find our half splits, fingertips to ground or blocks. Pull your right hip back and fold over a straightening-ish front leg. Beautiful, bend your right knee, we rise. High lunge. Long, tall spine, steady breath. On your exhale, plant the palms. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. We glide forward into high plank. And then with control, exhale, softly lower. Knees to earth. Tabletop position is just as needed. <laughs> and then when you're ready, left leg reaches back, it floats. Right fingertips or right arm reaches forward. Stay or add on with me, inhale. Exhale, crunch, right elbow to left knee. Ignite your core, and then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch, this is the one we hold. Push right elbow in towards left knee if you can. Make the connection, hold for three, two. On one, we open, get long, take an inhale. Exhale, right hand to the mat, peel open, left foot to back of mat, left arm stretches up towards the sky. Modified side plank or gate pose. Whatever you want to call it, left arm reaches up and overhead. Take an inhale. Exhale, left knee squeezes into the body. Look where you want it to land. Pivot on right shin, left foot to top of mat, low lunge. Let the inhale carry your arms up towards the sky. And the exhale dives fingertips to earth, pulls hip back, half splits. Nice. Inhale, bend your left knee, we rise, high crescent pose. Find your stability. Exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog, we step back. From your downward facing dog, inhale, lift heels, bend knees, glide yourself forward into high plank pose, knees can always come down. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Let the palms frame your ribcage, 
loop your shoulder heads onto your back body, neck is long, kick into the kick kick down into the tops of your feet, and then inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose. Beautiful, exhale, lower, push into the palms, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, we glide. High plank pose, beautiful. With control, softly, Knees find the ground, tabletop position. Reset, right leg reaches back, left arm maybe reaches forward. Take the inhale, exhale, crunch. Right knee, left elbow, inhale, open. Exhale, crunch and curl. Inhale to open. Exhale, crunch, hold. Squeeze them together if you can. Hold for three, two, one, we open. Side plank, left hand down. Maybe the right leg stays floating, right arm to sky. Beautiful. Exhale, right knee squeezes into the belly. You pivot on the left knee, right foot to top of mat, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Beautiful. Exhale, this time fingertips to the earth, tuck the back toes, modified pyramid pose. Lift the back knee if you can and pull both legs straight-ish. Nice. Bend your right knee, high lunge. We rise. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back downward, facing dog. So nice, you guys. From your dog, inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, think high plank and glide yourself there. With your exhale, softly lower knees to the earth, reset, tabletop position, adjust as needed. And then this time, reach your left leg back. Right arm maybe reaches forward. Maybe you stay or inhale. Exhale, crunch. Curl it underneath. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Hold it there. Hold for three, two, one. We open, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Wheel open, maybe left leg stays floating. Your modified side plank to the right. Nice, take an inhale. Exhale, left knee squeezes in towards the body this time. Look where you want it to land. Push firm out of your right hand, pivot on right shin. Left foot lands, inhale. Open your front body, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, fingertips to the earth this time. Pick up the back knee if you can and fold over straightening-ish legs. All right, maybe your blocks are under your fingertips. And then on an inhale, we'll bend left knee and we'll rise into high crescent pose. Take one more breath in. Exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog. As you get back to dog, inhale, lift heels, bend knees, cruise your body forward into high plank. And then this time, exhale, move through whatever vinyasa feels good to you. Finding cobra, locust, or upward facing dog, or maybe you skip it completely. Exhale, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, glide into high plank pose. You find it. Softly lower the knees to the ground. Reset tabletop position, reach the right leg back, left arm forward, inhale. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch it in. Hold, hold, hold for three, two, open on one. Exhale, left hand to the mat, wheel open into your modified side plank variation with maybe the right leg floating. Take an inhale here. Exhale, right knee squeezes into the belly. Right foot to the top of mat. Low lunge, inhale. Arms reach up towards the sky. And then on an exhale, fingertips to the earth, pick up the back knee. Left foot steps halfway up your mat, pyramid pose. Pyramid pose, again, maybe the blocks come underneath your hands. Any settings, welcome. Support yourself as needed always. And then when you're ready, you guys, we'll bend the right knee and we'll rise 
warrior one. Nice. With an inhale, we'll add the arms, anchoring into the back left foot. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, with control, plant the palms. Step back into dog. Nice. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, glide into your high plank pose. And then with control, the knees, softly lower to the ground, adjust the hands, float the left leg back, right arm forward. Take the inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Last one, you guys, exhale, crunch it in and hold for three, two, open on one. Beautiful, right hand to the mat, peel open. Your modified side plank variation. Take an inhale, exhale, left knee squeezes in. Look where you want it to land and pivot with control. Inhale, underneath. We arrive, reaching the arms up towards the sky, opening front body. Exhale, hands to floor or box. Pick up the back knee, step the back foot halfway up your mat, pyramid pose. Folding over straightening your left leg. I always like to think about grounding into my back foot in this shape. Think warrior one in your mind. If you need to adjust your stance, make it a little longer, feel free. Bend your left knee, and then with an inhale, we'll rise. Add in the arms. Strong, steady, stable. Exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog, good. As you make it back to dog, inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Glide yourself forward into high plank pose. Exhale as you move through whatever vinyasa you find. Use your breath to take you from spot to spot. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog, reset, breath in. Big breath out. One more deep inhale. Long exhale. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg up towards the sky, find a three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee squeezes in towards the belly, the left knee bends like a spring. We're stepping forward, way through the spine, find a cat-shaped spine if you can to deliver right foot, softly towards right thumb, ground, the back heel, warrior two. Ooh, use the inhale to pull away a few times. And then when you're ready, let the exhale settle you into whatever depth that you find and hold. So we've been moving around quite a lot up until now. So now we're gonna hold warrior two for a few breaths. So settle in. Take your gaze somewhere that allows you to focus. And I always like to find an anchor point. For me, usually, it's my back foot pressing into the outer edge. So I can stretch my right knee forward. Steady breath. One more here. With control, left hand to the mat, your side plank variation, maybe the left knee comes down or maybe you roll to the outer edge of your left foot, stack or stagger the feet. Any variation that's good with you is cool with me. But find your strength and your stability here. Really root down into your left thumb and feel your left bicep rolling forward. Feel your hips pushing across your mat, wherever you are. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. If you need to drop the bottom knee to make that a reality, feel free. And then we control slowly, slowly, slowly. We'll step all the way back to the top of the mat for side angle. Left heel clicks down, peel the left arm up, right forearm to right thigh, or maybe right fingertips come to the ground. It's your practice, it's your body. Whatever variation you find is cool. Nice. Take one more deep breath in. One more big breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior, or maybe you straighten the right leg to get out of that leg and breathe into your right side body. Beautiful job. 
And then from here, bend back into your right knee, we'll find warrior two. And then think high lunge, left arm sweeps forward as the left hip rolls forward, both arms reach up towards the sky. Find your balance. And then when you're ready, hands to heart center, and we'll shift all the way forward into warrior three. Shift your weight onto your right leg, maybe the back leg floats. So, so nice, you guys. And then from here, when you're ready, bend your right knee, left foot lands, left heel lands, pyramid pose. Beautiful. You fold and you melt over top of your right shin. Just allow yourself to melt, allow yourself to waterfall over top of your right shin. Breathe. We'll take one more breath together. And one more breath out. On your next inhale, bend the right knee, we'll rise, warrior one. Maybe you look up to see your palms connect. Exhale, plant the palms, move through your vinyasa or journey back into your downward facing dog. Which is where we'll meet. As you get back to dog, inhale, the left leg will rise. Exhale, left knee squeezes into the belly, we're stepping forward again. The right knee creates the spring, drive your hips high, think cat shape in the spine as you round your body forward. Left foot lands softly, right heel clicks down. Warrior two, side two. I'm just gonna switch sides so I can still see you guys. Also, you can still see me. Take a couple of breaths to bubble in and out a few times and then when you're ready, find the depth. Find your breath and settle. Breathe. Find the shape that you need today. One more inhale here. On your exhale, control the descent. The right hand finds a home on the ground, your side plank variation, maybe the right knee lowers, maybe you roll to the outside edge of right foot. You either way, you peel your body open, right hand down, left arm up, push the ground away with your right hand, wherever you are, and imagine you could push your hips across to the long edge of the mat in front of you, and hold. I like to reach up with my top hand as much as I'm pushing down with my bottom hand. Find your breath. And then on your next exhale, left knee squeezes into chest. Look where you want it to land and deliver softly your left foot to top of mat, click the right heel down. Your side angle variation. Peeling the right side up. Breathe. Think about anchoring into your back right foot. Think about pulling your left hip crease back. Nice. And then from there, inhale, reverse your warrior left arm reaches back. Maybe you straighten the left leg and reverse your triangle pose. Breathe into your left side body. With an exhale, we'll bring it back. Bend the left knee, warrior two. Beautiful. And then from here, you guys, think about high lunge in your mind and then start to pivot on the back foot. Right hip rolls forward, right arm reaches forward. Right arm meets left, reaching up towards the sky, we find high crescent. And then from there, we're gonna shift forward, warrior three. Pull your hands to heart center. When the balance is there, shift weight into your left foot and we'll rise. Maybe your back leg floats, maybe your big right toe is on the ground. Whichever variation you find, let it be yours. Shoulders on back body, core engaged. And then when you're ready, think pyramid pose, bend the left knee, right foot steps back, straighten ish the left leg and we'll fold. Nice. Melt. It almost feels like my upper body is kind of like spilling out of my hips. I always like to make sure my weight is in my back foot in this shape and my front hip is pulling back. 
And then when you're ready, bend your left knee and we'll rise into warrior one with an inhale. Maybe you look up to see your palms connect. Exhale, plant the palms and we'll move through a vinyasa together. Beautiful, beautiful job, you guys. So, so good. From your downward facing dog, look to the space in between your thumbs. Grip the earth with your palms, look forward, inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, feet land at the outsides of the hands, hopping or stepping, drive the knees wide, active squat. Exhale, rise to stand. Inhale, get long, get tall. Exhale, sit back down into your depth. Inhale, plant the palms. On your exhale, you flow through whatever vinyasa you find. Flow with your breath. Flow with your own rhythm as you get back to dog. Look forward, inhale, lift heels, bend knees, get springy. Exhale, feet, land, inhale. We arrive. Exhale, drive to stand, inhale, reach up, exhale, sit back down, inhale, plant the palms, and then exhale, you flow, you move, and you groove, you breathe your way back, into downward facing dog, last round, look forward, inhale, lift heels, bend knees, exhale, feet, softly land, inhale, we arrive, active squat, exhale, drive to stand, inhale, reach up, exhale, sit down, inhale, plant the palms, use your exhale to flow with control. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog, breathe. Take a moment here for yourself. Feel a deep connection to your body in this moment. And then when you're ready, you guys, your journey onto your back, however you wanna get there. You can lift heels, bend knees, you can hop, you can step one foot, then the other, cross the legs, have a seat. You can drop the knees, however you choose to get there. We'll all meet on our backs. <laughs> Set your feet up as you would for bridge pose. And then when you're ready on your next inhale, set your feet up as you would for bridge pose. And then when you're ready on your next inhale, drive your hips high and breathe. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale to lower down. As you land, resist the temptation to adjust your spine for a moment because we're gonna go for another round of bridge or if you prefer, feel free to move into wheel pose. And before we move, take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then when you're ready, on your next inhale, whenever it comes, push down through your feet, lift the hips, find your bridge pose, or maybe you plant the hands behind your body and you rise up into your wheel pose. Wherever you are, you breathe, feel your glutes engaging, feel your hips pressing up. Feel the points of contact you have with the ground. Steady breath, steady mind. And then when you're ready, exhale, let it go. As you land once again, just resist the temptation to adjust. And maybe you take the feet wide, maybe the knees knock middle, maybe the arms go wide. And then we'll take a few breaths together. Invite a breath in. And let it go. Invite a breath in. 
and let it go. One more deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. And then when you're ready, knees can pull in towards the chest. Maybe you rock it out. Maybe you rock it out and give yourself a little hug as you roll from outer hip to outer hip. Feeling your low back in contact with the ground as you massage it out a little bit. And then when you're ready, you guys, figure of four, right ankle, left knee, your variation. Maybe this is enough for you today, or maybe you pull the left side in and you breathe. Maybe you drive the right knee away a little bit as you press your tailbone in towards the ground underneath you. Or maybe you just be. Not seeking anything more than what you find in this moment. Just letting the sensations that come up for you be enough. Allow yourself to create a few moments of softness, of calm, of comfort and ease. As we start the process of unwinding. Drop left foot to earth, right leg chases sky, your easy hamstring stretch maybe. You hold the back of your right leg maybe. Peace fingers to big toe. Maybe left leg goes long. A couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, let that go and we'll switch it out. Figure of four, side two, left ankle, right knee. Whichever variation you find. Let it speak to you. Let it honor your practice and where you are in this moment. Just allowing the breath to be easy and natural. Allowing yourself to calm things down just a bit. When you've finished, unravel left leg to sky, your easy hamstring stretch. Maybe your right leg goes along. And then when you finish, pull both knees into chest, give yourself one last little hug, another little rock from side to side if that feels good to you. Maybe one more big breath in. One more big breath out. And then when you're ready, Shavasana. Allowing the legs to go long down your mat. Arms can splay wide. Set it up like any other pose in yoga. Taking your time to make it feel good to you. And then let go of your breath. And as you find yourself here in your final pose of practice, letting go of your breath, surrendering your body to the ground, knowing that as you lay here and drift away into whatever space you find that you've created for yourself. You're giving the practice space to wash through you, to wash away from you. Allowing this moment to nourish your mind, your body and your spirit in all the ways that you need. 
that you stay here for as long as you may like. Take a moment in gratitude for your practice and for your body. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me, you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next class. From my heart to yours, namaste.